Congratulations on purchasing your new Homburg drain cleaner. For the best result, we recommend that you read the manual before starting work. Your tractor must be equipped with a reliable three-point hitch to carry your drain cleaner. When using the types Junior, Delta and Senior, you also need a hydraulic pressure and return connection. The required coupling shaft speed is 400 rpm. So always use a 540 rpm shaft that runs at roughly 400 rpm at reduced engine speed. You will prevent damage to the coupling shaft by removing a draw hook that may be in the way. In some cases the draw hook can also be shifted aside. In that case, be sure to place the locking provisions correctly again. If you place the tractor before the drain cleaner, then close the rear window and lock it. This will prevent window breakage. Remove the coupling shaft to check it for correct length after hitching. Reverse the tractor and slide the linkage arms correctly around the implement pins. In the interest of safety, you should always use reliable, properly functioning lock pins. Now connect the top link and place a reliable lock pin here too. Then lift the drain cleaner to the right working height, roughly 10 cm above the ground. It is important to minimize transverse movements of the implement in order to prevent damage. Compensate any play by setting the stabilizers at the right length and locking them. Now lift the drain cleaner air until the pump shaft is at the same height as the PTO. Measure the distance between the two shafts. Make sure the total length of the coupling shaft is less than the measured distance, but no more than 20 cm shorter. If necessary, you can shorten the two coupling shaft halves by equal length. First connect the coupling shaft to the pump and then to the tractor. Make sure the two sides slide properly on the spline shafts and that the lock pins clearly catch in the grooves. Also mount the prescribed safety chains in both sides to prevent the coupling shaft protection sleeve from rotating. Of course, you always use a reliable, inspected coupling shaft. Now connect the hydraulic hoses. The hose marked red with a red dust cover is the pressure hose. The hose marked blue is a return hose. The location of the tractor connections is usually random and depends on the fixed valve position. For road transport you should always slide in the hydraulic control valve. We recommend to check all lock pins for correct position once more before you drive off. Checking the water pump oil level is a daily routine. Top up, if necessary, to the indicated level. Protruding handles, for instance of roller bends and other clamps should be pointing upward. That will prevent damage when putting down the machine. Hose leaking? Remove the damaged section. Place a mark on the hose that comes out of the machine at 35 mm from the end. The repair bush has a left-handed thread on one side and a right-handed thread on the other. Screw the right-handed section on the hose as far as the mark and then back off the hose counterclockwise. Do the same for the other hose section but screw on counterclockwise and back clockwise. When you have nearly screwed the bush from the hose, you insert the first hose section into the open end of the bush. Then you screw the bush tight clockwise, which will pull the two hose sections inward against each other. Homburg has jet nozzles for you in many types and sizes. In many cases, the standard nozzle is a good solution. A solution for localizing blockages is the transmitter-receiver combination. No drain is too far for Homburg. As far as we are concerned, fouled and blocked drains are a thing of the past.